we met in a bathroom three years three ago. Three years ago. <laughs> but I mean, it's just so insane when you get two creative minds together, like April's and mine. Like we 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 think about things differently and we approach things differently. But like we get so excited just talking to one another. I mean, like I mean, we can feed off of one another. Yeah, we totally do feed off of one another. So. So a few months ago, my best friend April and I started talking about how cool and how awesome it would be if we were to make a giant spoon sculpture. And we started talking about what that might look like and April was like, oh, I could do the chainsaw carving and you could make a giant draw knife. And of course, April being the total go-getter that she is, she went ahead and made it happen. And so of course, even though I'd never forged anything remotely this big, I said, it's gonna be no problem for me to for forge an enormous draw knife for this. And as you'll even see in the video, I don't even have my metal shop fully set up yet. It's actually, we're forging on my porch. And the anvil doesn't have its proper stand yet. It's just sitting on a stump. But you know what? One of the things that I admire the most about April is how easily accessible she makes taking on enormous, seemingly impossible tasks for everyone who's watching her work. I, as I was watching her build her shop, I was constantly inspired and amazed, and I think that this project is very indicative of the friendship that she and I have. It's, it's big, it's loud, it's a little bit ridiculous, but I, I really hope that a lot of people will, will see us building things together and, and just feel inspired to take on their own projects, whether they be big, impossible seeming projects or just something that's a little bit ridiculous but really fun to make. As you heard at the beginning of the video, April and I met in a bathroom and the friendship that has developed since then is just something that is so incredibly precious to me. It, it means a lot to me to have someone who I look up to and who I admire, who challenges me and inspires me and encourages me and then I can do the same thing for her. A few words on the construction of the draw knife. I made it out of mild steel, so traditionally if it was going to be a functional tool, I would have made it out of tool steel, but because tool steel is a lot more expensive and a whole lot harder to move with a hammer, it, I just decided mild steel was just gonna be more than ample. That said, I still wanted to make the draw knife in a traditional manner. I've actually made a few draw knives that are functional as woodworking tools, and I surely could have made things a whole lot easier for myself by just cutting out the final shape of the draw knife, cutting out the handles, and then simply bending them to the final shape. But I really wanted to use this as an opportunity to practice drawing out large pieces of metal forging in a bevel and trying to keep the whole thing straight and I mean this was a bear you saw at the beginning of the video I actually uh, had to call in the big guns I called my friend Nick over to help me do the striking on the uh, on the beginning part where we were forging out the tangs or the pointy bits that go into the handle for the draw knife and basically when you work with two people you can emulate using a power hammer because you one person basically controls where the, the hammer blows are going and then the other person runs a, runs a sledgehammer which because of the mass and the force will just move the metal a whole lot quicker. So huge shout out to Nick for helping me make a pro project that would have taken a lot longer, take a lot less effort on my, uh, on my watch. So basically, after the tangs for the handles were forged out, the hard part was done, and I basically just needed to forge in the bevel, grind it, and then use my woodworking skills to create some little traditional handles for it. Probably the coolest aspect of this pro project was burning the tangs of the draw knife into the handle of the draw knife, the oak handle that I'd made, so that it would create a piston fit and it worked like a charm. I was really pleased how that worked out. And then of course this last bit is just a li some little snippets from April's video on carving the spoon. So if you haven't actually already seen her video, it's linked below. And just thank you so much for taking the time to continue to watch my videos and support my channel. Go give April some love as well. And please stay tuned for more awesome content coming up.